The ancient city is calling Oh, arise, sons and daughters of the land The king of the city is marching Stand up high to the pride of the land The founding fathers have labor And our time to serve is now The glory of the new head of nation Will forever be our pride Beautiful and a glorious head of You're the heart of Nigeria, beautiful and a glorious and a stars are singing over you. You're the land people dream to be. Our treasures are found in all nations, and our greatness is second to none. Our history forever shall be written How our kings have endured all time A people cultured in unity Our hearts before the land Rich culture, stories of heroes Legacies forever be And come what may And our future lies in us Teach our children To teach their children What our fathers, fathers taught To fear and love the Creator Only then shall we succeed Yes, 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 yes. Good morning, good morning. Edo people and Nigerians across the world, I salute you all in the name of our collective struggle. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. This is the Comrade Show. My name is Comrade Lante Oriahi. Ima Awele, I see you. Good morning. Sophia Baby Orosai, God bless you. Usas Ujo, I see you. Good morning. Dore Elanta, I see you. Prince and Wine, thank you so much for joining me. Esther Usifu Ayamboa, thank you. Castro Eno Mori, Linda Imafido, I see you. Please, as you joining me, share the broadcast. We have a matter that we need to start addressing, you know, immediately. A matter that borders on the entire issues of nigeria a matter that slows down our progress we need to start talking about it we need to start, to start talking to ourselves this is a matter that has been a major bane to our development as a people is so kind joy i see you good morning god bless you ek adeyanju good morning innocent Martin Sydney, God bless you. I see you. Hope and Luha Utami. Thank you so much for joining me, for joining and supporting the Comrade Show. Owoloto Bright, Owoloto, thank you. Victor Ibahai, God bless you. God bless you. All the way from Mayoka, Spain. 
Mabel Osazua, I see you. Thank you so much. If I okay, I love you too, my brother. Thank you so much. Joseph Shilo, good morning. Castro Eno Mori, I'm Medon. I see you guys. Thank you so much. Please keep sharing, keep sharing, keep sharing. Let's buy some time to get the house filled up. Thank you so much. Privy Tompos, God bless you. Linda Imafido, Imafido. Thank you so much. Yes, we made it. God bless you. Stella, man. Thank you so much. Helen Ojo, good morning. Good morning, my sister. Justina Omarino, I see you. God bless you so much. God bless you so much. Leslie S.A., Ken, Canada, Igihon. You guys are wonderful people. I love you so much. Koredo, Tamuwo, thank you so much. Kalaka Patrick, may God bless you. I see you. I see you, Leslie S.A. Atalo George, good morning, my brother. God bless you. Inorua Malaga, thank you so much. Thank you, Lucky Efosa Sazua. Imaswa Usaibovo, Henry Palacio, Dorian Amanta. Yes, Rita Okoso, I see you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's keep sharing. Let's keep sharing. Let's keep sharing. There's a matter we want to start taking on right now from this day. And we're going to go all the way until Nigeria is finally sanitized. We have to, as a matter of urgency, as a matter of urgency, we need to start uprooting the ills, the evil, a, a very serious bait to our own political and economic development as a people. We must start it. We must start it. A door has laid the framework. We have laid the foundation. We must extend that to all other parts of Nigeria. Edo has laid the framework. What Edo did, you know, is, is an example. It's a template. The governor, Governor Basaki, when he was complaining, said that this process will set a new political template for Nigeria. Edo has started it. That template is set. It is now our duty collectively to extend this template to other parts of Nigeria. It is our responsibility now to begin to tell Nigerians that we need to change from the old ways. The status quo has to change. We must set a new political direction. The narrative has to change. Politics in Nigeria must, should, and always will remain and must remain a bad the people, not a bad some individuals, not a bad some, some, some few persons, not a bad some minority that perpetually subjugates the collective will of Nigerian people. Baba Kes G, I see you. Don Kelly, am I you? Thank you for joining me. Esther Osaifo, Aaron Boa, yes, I see you. Stella Ami White, thank you so much for joining me. Yes. Well, before I go down to the very, you know, nitty gritty of this matter, you know, there's, you know, some sound bites I, I want, I want to bring, you know, I want to play to you guys, you know, uh, I, 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 I mean, I just want you guys to listen, you know, to this, to this video, you know, and uh, actually, my our discourse today is going to be centered around what this woman is talking about. I came across this video and I thought that man, we need to give strength to this particular, you know, message. Just, just, just watch. Soft music, see? My take me, boy, I'll be three minutes gone. I need to drop this bombshell alone for me. My people. Oshé. My people, my people, when are they? This one, uh, true matter. Hmm. I don't know the legal state. I come on back. In fact, I vex. But when I come the thing come, Nido people I carry yash for now. Nabi Omoko. Nabi son of the soil. Ah! A para for my ah I do why I be legal speaking, but I see me why I give you now. Na deserve nothing. Omoko ni now be better picking where person suppose now like this every indigenous supposed to I don't verse before when I they hear I don't know be Lagos I don't know be Lagos I know I call it be like say I be misunderstand you now but I can't say say now the love of na na place uh, the lack of the fact say na no green made them corrupt now this fact say na the police na self say na don't tire for this poverty 
for this corruption. Now come stand. Well, well. I don't about not be true picking of the soil. Not true. I don't know be Lagos State. I wish a door. I wish a Lagos be a door. I wish say right now. I the pressure maker come from a door. Ah, my me or do that to me. Ah, and yet do more baffle or more conny. I am so freaking proud of you. The way you held your election and the way you were so proud. Echo, or do see me. When you come out of Emi on this support you from Katilda. What Edo people did, if that is how Lagosians do things, in what it to tipe, unko tema aje, tema mu. You know how corrupt Inubu is. How can one man be putting his name on everything? How can one man hold everything? Oh, one man want a guda. Oh, if you want share, I show you it. Oh, mu ori tafili no. Oh, mu. So no book for all the tough in or the fin tell and your mole and your mole. Ah, you got a major jag bomb, but when you da care, at it a luton, at it saluting low she, like a quota fish example. Ah, I don't, I love you. I join my jack in change citizenship. Me, ah, what you so red, oh, I join by me feel music to loud you see, but I join and your medal. I have been the come, she make a come fight. But I, like I said, but they say I be truth say. Ha ha! Ota role ni koma saun. I want more le kote te kota. Want you fe kote sara. Want to do le baba. Want want you buy them on inori. Want you sing you sing you di. They don't carry you now. Go back to Numbu, don't sell all of you. Now finish where we say, Go to a sea, bit of a fair one. Let's go more. I want more. Let's go go. Ah, let's go walk. Let's go. A coin is become too expensive. Oh, to the gold, oh, to the diamond. I want to be say, Go. Ah, Nilu, me. Since my papa bought me, I don't know anywhere. When Elizabeth, oh, show the. Oh, show the name. I don't want to be a boy. Be go go. I do go live by me. But Sherry, what is all the got? Go go. Go see. Go see. Go see. Go see. Third road. What is a quaddy? What is a quaddy does been? Motherfucking bastard children. What is a quota? I want you on booing. I don't know be Lagos. Not true. I don't know be Lagos state. Now, now, I know say when God give us something, we can protect them with all of our lives. That thing they get value. Tinubu don't take Lagos finish for be say Lagos speaking go go no even feel afford to stay for Lagos. Ah! Ah, oh, you buy me tea. Baba, what me go ahead today? Oh, good day, no more God for that is him. Tinubu, you buy no more in Lagos. Eh, on be a la jaire, ke lo se ko omo eko. Che mo kwa mo nyobu dada, mo ti bi ya la ja omo eko kore. Ko wo eko la ilo wo lo wo, o ma ja le last ni. Bo gba wo omo e nyo di na fi si position. Bo gbo wo no wo am position. Tu nun bi ti ta yin, tu nun bo on shore yin. O mo a le ni, o ti ta bo gbo eko ton. Mo bi ya la ja omo eko kwa to wo eko kwa ma shagbe. O ma shagbe ni me. O ma shagbe ni. Hey jo. I wish Lagos was like a door. Ah, a door people. I carry your ash for now. I love you guys. I have nothing but respect. Share the bush in Louis, Kunya Kono Shenlu. Ba one more do she she. Be a one more ni le she she ni ye. Talking shoma joji. Oh moale. A one moale bastard. What is she wala? What what is she faji kaja bush ye? Afi koma adobo. Come as I let a lobby, be a book up. Why should I do that? Why could she leave? That's all you know. I will buy one more shame protecting it to both. Push and protect it, Luba Bow. Faji, Fakpa, and Yareko, Cafe, I will make you. Echo, Luaga, Echo, I get a fee for GB weary. Eh, Nero, no. To no put a little more in Lori. What's the big book? We live on one more.
awon ajoju lo le ko bayi eyin are koju yin wo bi e ma jide e ma se godfather reason pelu e o ti fi gbogbo awon omo ta yen o ti fi secure arai won bi ya la ja kokon yin ko soro e ti o ba ku kile to mo ko ni ya mi ko lo bi mi e soro si tunubu baba ni wa yin ti o ti ki gbogbo yin o ti ki yin agbara o je ko lo se ri pe won do ju tin sin i don't know be lagos hey my edo people a carry us for now hey ba na se ma se yen na eh owo meji loke e se kon hey hey ejo 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 hey edo na grand i do i love you guys I am so proud of you. I love you, Edo people. I stand with you. Obaseki, congratulations. That is the beginning of the hand of God for that reason. No more! Freedom to the people. Power to the people. No more. Edo. Ah, I'm Ah, I'm Hmm. But I believe the God will raise you up. Hello? Excuse me. Excuse me. Were you recording me? Oh, no, I'm talking about video. Ah. Because I was doing something about Lagos State. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm. I'm uh, oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. But she's <laughs> bad. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Eh hey, nile o love you all Eko no be Lagos state o Edo Okay see This is my family Ah Ah Edo I want your mini yam you le wa ku therapy ni ma fi gbogbo yin se to ba ya mo so fe ya ko mo ni ti o ba si pe mi o le mu gbo lori ise mi ni wa ni boya ori ti yi nko toro yin gba niyan because i want to let say you di nko to ju won ri Eh, mo pe en pa yan lojoju mo sha tori olohun ba mi gbe re nbe to ba ti ready ki okay ejo edo ah eyan mo edo impress me ejo omo eko alohun o fe wa la obo to fe lo do next yen lo ma ma ro iyawo ni yawo to fe gba yen na ma ma ro ngba ta n soro ngba ton ma san wa ni ba kan ejo she suddenly need to know who I'm banning. Two one three. Suddenly need to know who. Let's take over everything. Go now, want to buy? Go need to see better. Go need buy, but don't fool. Yeah, my grandmother is to know who. Yeah, yeah, Papa me to know who. Yeah, Papa Papa me or Shoji. Mo ni le me jije kolona. Ngati. Aba se gbe nbi ba igon ta won mo akure awon mo ndo awon mo won ti take over eco club gon ko si nkan teyan fe se there's nothing ta wa really ni ko ye yin ta ba fe soro ani bo na fe gbe gba ngba to je pe won ti re example ton set inule eco ni mi now my forefathers fought for the freedom of lagos state bo fi bo mo sodi ni mi o sodi tapa omo obinja bendi omo eko ni mi 100% eko okay get ownership o eko has ownership if you know no history all the bastards where they say eko no get owner eko leyin o eko la won to ni eh what in na go talk be say the children don't turn to people we can talk they are now ineffective because they have sold their bad right they didn't watch well, so strangers have come and taken over. But we will get our Lagos back. Ah, Edjo, I'm just so glad we're doing it. What I'm saying, if we move said over you, what I'm saying, Edo will begin to be the new Nigeria. Ah, our people here, police, election, oh, ah, we just get bammy to fake oh. Let it just keep going. We're more than two million boys. More, we two million. 
awon osimole awon tinubu lo ki won sibe so da won le madara ilu lamu o tun won sile so da won le ma ja yin laya when will you take back your power te to le mo tinubu o nse ore yoruba o ta yoruba ni tinubu o le ni gbugbu nkan to fe je lapo enikan lo mo eh te yan ba ti ri nkan to ju e ba ti ri siko ni mo ni ta ni tinubu se fun to jo mo eko gbugbu awon to ku pata 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 ajo je ni won how can you say you love a city and you have not done anything in that city everybody you have done for in that city are foreigners to that city tinubu would rather give the position to an hebo person than give it to yoruba then you say all these stupid people and our bloggers kill them all ara oro yin awata so lenu amo omo eko gidi ko le soro ba won bloggers e se nsoro be ni awon omo ale ko man jade won la won omo ale yoruba to fe protest eyin bombastard yoruba te ti jegunje te fe jegunje ku te se du lati 1960 tara o ti yin to ju o ti yin tara o ni yin ha eni o sojo oro yin mo se nbo ni i don't know be lagos na true I agree 100%. I don't know be Lagos. Twale. I don't know be Lagos. I don't know be Lagos. And that is in a very proud way. I am a Lagosian and I testify to I say I don't know be Lagos yo. Hey, Twale for my Edo people. I bow. Te ba jawo Godfatherism aye yin ma ba je ni. E ma ta ola awon omo yin. gbogbo nkan teni o ma baje won ti ta nigeria fu chinese ton everything is gone you don't even have a nigeria i don't know what the, what the fuck you think you have you don't have a nigeria eru ni gbogbo yin ma se all the people that say we don't want fight we don't want fight we don't want to protest we don't want fight eh don't fight don't fight sit there the loans that they have taken over your head your children will suffer when you look from your grave you will not even see the traces of your children at all on the soil of lagos state i want more ale bastard like my father used to say eh ni dide eyan mo eko eh ni dide eh ni dide en gba bribe eh ni dide en kitunubo eh ni dide eh ni dide ariyo ko se yaba ladagba sini yaba ko ladagba sini mo bi ya la ja any one of us ko lora le si yaba any house Eh? Hey, ni dide. Amo Yoruba dide. Tinubu ti ta yin ta. Amo Yoruba dide. Tinubu ti ta yin ta o. Ko ta ba je o de je agbon. O ma se o. Give me composure. Tinubu ti ta yin ta. Oh, ah. oh. oh, oh, me. Let me let go. I'm getting too emotional. Baba. It is well. It is well. Nice soft music. Well. What can I say? <clears throat> you know, I I I saw this video earlier today. Again, it crystallized in my mind. It dawned very much on me yet again that what happened in a do state between Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, like the governor said much earlier in the electoral process in a do state, he said this process, the election of a do state. we set a new template for nigeria as a people we have lost a lot as a people we have been denied so much as a people a betrayed has been taken over and eroded by this us all circumcised human beings who are consistently used their privileged positions to oppress all of us they came in their numbers tinubu am tinubu was the leader of the pack they did everything to dislodge the governor of a do state 
when they could not succeed during the electionary process, Tinubu stood and issued a statement asking a dope people not to vote for Governor Obaseki. Asking a dope people to vote out Governor Obaseki. He used the words of kick him out, reject him. In fact, when I saw his video, I told myself, I said, this man just kicked himself out. He just kicked himself out of his hegemony. He just kicked himself out of his, his, his empire. Lagos is a beautiful state. Lagos is a state that ought to be a true example to the entire Nigerian nation. Lagos is a state that ought to be a true example to Africa. But I tell you that the glory of Lagos has been eroded over the years by Bola Ahmed Tinubu. If, if Nigeria must get it right, we all have a collective duty to stop at Tinubu from Lagos. To stop at Tinubu strongholds from Lagosians. Lagos is Nigeria. Lagos, this lady was talking just now. Yes, Lagos has got owners. If you want to follow the history, Lagos is actually owned by Edo. It is Edo land that owned Lagos. Edo founded Lagos. But I don't want to go to the history now. I want to talk about the, about the Lagos of today. Lagos that has become the New York of Nigeria. Lagos that is supposed to be the economic hub of Africa. But we have Lagos that one man sits on. That one man has built an empire. He is not a king, but he's a king over Lagos. That the people of Lagos. So they, they have to go scavenging for what to eat, scavenging for where to live, scavenging for how to live their life. And at the end of the day, they are extorted beyond measures. The tragedy of Godfatherism to Africa. The election of a, a governor Godwin Oyelase of Baseke is a new template. It's not a template that we are just going to sit down and relax and watch it roll over. It's a template that we must galvanize as a people. I came out this morning see, a do election is done and dusted. We are moving to the next page of helping the government to succeed. I saw the comment just now. Somebody wrote that we should encourage the government to do well to ensure that electricity is provided. I want to assure you that the plans of Governor Godwin of Baseke within the next one to two years, and those states will enjoy a near stable electricity. If you are an investor, you want to come to a doorstep today to want to invest. I want to guarantee you by what the government has put on ground by the power generation of a super power plant. You are bringing business to a dust state. Come to a dust state. Go through the right channels. You will start your industry where you will get 24 hour electricity. 247. Not from the national grid, but from the dust state grid, from a super power plant. Because a super power plant right now, by what by 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 by, 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 by the segment that is completed right now, the priority is to supply businesses, to supply industries, stable electricity, so that our people can be employed. So if you are coming to come and invest in those states, I encourage you to come. If you don't know how to go about it, reach out to us. We will direct you on how to go about it. We will help you, and the government of those states will help you, give you a location, create a good environment for you to start your industry. And I can assure you that what the government of a doctor has done is so that your industry will have two for sale electricity. You don't, do, do, don't just worry. Take the step and you see what's going to happen. Then as for the issue of Godfatherism, today, I want to say to Nigerians that if we are able to defeat Tinubu, we are able to stop out Tinubu, believe me, Nigeria will start getting better. Tinubu is not good news for Nigeria. Tinubu is not good news for Africa. Tinubu is a selfish man. Nobody can play God in the lives of everybody. What we have seen consistently from people like Bola Ahmed Tinubu and all his goons around him, all over Nigeria, is a deliberate attempt 
to perpetually keep Nigeria under subjugation. The entire, the entire southwest of Nigeria is under the grip of Tunubu. And now we are expecting Ondo election to take place. Tunubu is at it again. In Ogu State is at it. Everywhere over the southwest. And they wanted to add a door. How can one man be this wicked, this selfish, this insatiable to the detriment of everybody? I'm an Edoma, I'm a Nigerian. But before being a Nigerian, I am a proud Edoma. And I made both to say to tell you my people that this is a fight that we all have to fight. My message today is not to adopt people. My message today is to Lagosians. The Bible for those who are Christians I always say this. He says that the children of Issachar, they knew the time and they knew what Israel ought to do. Nigerians must know the time. Now. Now is the time. The revolution has to start. We started in a dust state. We stopped out of Adalism. Oshomore, the usually call him Oshomore. Now, according to Juno Melaye, Oshomore has become Oshopi King. He has been reduced and cut to size. Because at the mass, a matter of fact, Nigerians should act in some level of equality. No man should be more important than the other. Everybody must exist within a framework of certain level of equality. Nobody should be a god over others. No! No! No whatsoever! I am, and I, I am grieved! I am grieved because for many years we have lost so much as a people. For many years, Nigeria is not as safe because we have had leadership brought up, brought upon us by people who place themselves as godfathers to others. And yet, none of these was for the overall good of everybody, but for their selfish interests. For their selfish interests. Billions of men have gone down the drain. Billions of dollars have gone down the drain. We are a rich country, and yet we are one of the poorest nations on earth. How can that be? Because of the tragedy of godfatherism. We must resolve by the two elections. We must resolve as a people. We are starting the campaign from the Congress show that this time in Nigeria's political history must be rewritten. The narrative must change. The dynamics must change. Nigeria must truly belong to Nigerians. Nigeria must not belong to a few. Nigeria must not, be, Nigeria must not belong to some people. The divide and rule system that we have had from amongst our brothers, our brothers, it must end. It is a new form of colonialism. Nigeria, the nationalist fathers, they fought, they fought, and we got independence. But since independence, we have been recolonized by our own kind. Our own brothers, our own sisters. They become colonial masters. We have never fully been free from colonialism. We have never truly be free from the grip of this wickedness. We have never truly be free from all of this kind of human beings. Tinubu must lose his grip over Lagos. Tinubu, in, in a two state, I can assure the world that for the next four years, Gono Gono Baseki is going to consolidate and bury totally the act of Gofadarism in the two states. It therefore behoves on the rest of us to take a leave from a dust state to say if a dust state can do it, we can do it in Lagos, we can do it in Ondo, we can do it in Anabra, we can do it all over Nigeria. Nigeria, I'm afraid to say, is a backward state. Nigeria is a beautiful state, but it's a backward state. Nigeria is a wonderful state, but it's a backward state. Nigeria is, is, is a rich state, but it's a backward state. The backwardness of Nigeria can only be traced to the art of Godfatherism. These people who don't mean well. Of course, everywhere over the world, there are people who are instrumental to others advancing to political leadership. But it's always for the purpose, for the overall good of the people. We've never had this as, as such. Theirs is to impose their people, their boys. And at the expense of everybody. They make you a chairman and they tell you that the revenue that comes to the local government, you must bring this, 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 this to them. At the end of the day, that road cannot be tied. That hospital cannot be uh, built. Uh, that uh, uh, industry cannot be established. 
because all of this revenues that were supposed to be used to create that environment for enterprise operations to thrive they are all stolen the roads are bad and when the roads are bad nigerians will drive that road they will have accidents they will die because the road the roads are bad because somebody somebody somewhere who is supposed to have done that road given the power the political leader has refused to do it and more more often than not they refuse because the godfathers have deep hand into the revenue the Nigerian revenue is no longer used for infrastructure. It's not used to, to develop hospitals, to develop the social welfare of the people, to develop education, to develop agriculture. The other day, we saw the show of shame by NDDC. In the hearing at the level of the National Assembly, we saw the show of shame. We saw the show of, the show of shame. We saw the embarrassment. How much of Nigeria's money is going down the drain because of certain few people? And for what purpose? For what purpose? Nigerians and the dope people, we must lead by example. We must have a direct purpose. This day going forward, the direct purpose is to understand that the lives of Tunubu should not, should not, should not continue to lord it over us. Lagos. Lagos, we know so much about Lagos. The glory of Lagos has been eroded over the years. Lagos ought to compete favorably with all other states that are advancing, with New York, with London, with 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 with, with Tokyo. That that is the level Lagos ought to be. Because of what is in Lagos. But believe me, I tell you this, and this is true. Half of Lagos is in the pocket of Tinubu. How can that be? How can that be? When he says yes, that yes is the yes. When he says no, that no is the no. For what? That is why we said, hey, don't not be Lagos. They came with the, the artillery. But we said no. The people of Edo are Edo. Oh, Shomala is not Edo. All of those goods, none of them is Edo. Tinubu cannot be Lagos. Lagosians must arise now. This is the time. 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 The Benima says, Oja, I have seen a woman. You must use all you have to defend your integrity, to defend your territory, to defend the land you believe. We are Nigerians. We are Nigerians. We are not backward people. Our fathers suffer. Suffer subjugation, suffer oppression, suffer wickedness for those who are who say they are what they are. We must move beyond that narrative. This is a new generation. We have new, new we, have, we have a new generation, young men, Nigerians, all over the world, contributing positively to human development. All over the world. We must rise now. We must rise now. We must rise in a revolution that is not a violent one. A revolution. A revolution. A revolution that is the kind that is being propagated by somebody like Mahatma Gandhi. Passive resistance. These people, we need to start resisting them. A call must wake up. If Lagos wakes up, believe me, the entire Nigeria was, is going to wake up. If Lagos wake, wakes up, Ondo is going to wake up. If Lagos, if Lagos wake up, Khan is going to wake up. If Lagos wakes up, every part of Nigeria is going to wake up. This is the time. There is no better time. The template is set. And do I set the template? It therefore means that all of us, home and abroad, we must begin to discuss this matter. We must begin to talk about it. And I give a direct message. Basically, I just share this broadcast. I want to talk to Sean Wallo. We cannot continue persistently be a pawn in the hand of certain human beings created by God. People who are flesh and blood like you and I. Some of them are not even as handsome or beautiful as you and I, and yet they lord it over us. For what? What is that criteria? Who gave them that right? Because, because as a people, we give them that privilege. Say, man, be our leader everywhere in the world. Where countries advance, people serve for the glory of service. But in Nigeria, people don't serve for the glory of service. They serve for their selfish interest. They serve for their pockets. They serve, they serve, they serve for their family and their friends. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. 
everybody, everybody, everybody must not be a fool all the time. You can fool some sometimes. You can fool all the people all the time. And God has set the template. My people, let God says, wake up! Elisha is coming up in all those states. Are we going to fold our hands? No, we're not going to fold our hands. We need to look at the on those states. Look at the narrative of the on those states. And stand with the people. Let us stand with the people. Let us take a stand with the people. Let us take a stand with the, with the people. On those people, I speak to you. Take a stand with the people. Take a stand with the people. I'm not, a, I'm not a politician. I'm never in APC or PDP or any political party. But I want to stand all the time with the people. With the people. With the people. Let's not stand any longer with Godfathers. Because we are seeing that Godfathers, they actually don't have... In fact, what they are is what we make of them. It's what we make them to be. Because we are the ones we use. Like God says, you are the power of Tinubu. We draw that power now. Because since you gave that power to Tinubu, since you started obeying the voice of Tinubu, your lives as a people has not been the same again. We must rise and say no going forward. No going forward. Nigeria has to change. Independence is just a week or two around the corner. Nigeria independence. You look at this many years to date. You ask yourself as a nation, where really have we got to? What can we really show for our independence to date? Given the resources we've had as a people, ask yourself, Nigerians. Ask yourself. And I can tell you, without fear of intimidation, without, without, in fact, without missing words, I can tell you that more than half of Nigeria's resources has gone into private pockets right from in the, in independence. Shall we continue to live in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. My people, it is time. I am not speaking to adult people right now. The time to speak to adult people, you know, during the election is past. We are now in a new era. We are not speaking to Nigerians. We are speaking to Lagosians. We are speaking to adult, adult people. Let us rise. Let us rise. Let us rise. Let us rise and defend our fatherland. Our fatherland. I live in the UK. Sometimes I find myself in a environment where I'm even ashamed to say I'm a Nigerian because the news that broke previously is such that it's embarrassing. Shameful. Shameful. Because we have people who have consulted, connived to make sure they put us under. In a minute, I'm going to open my line. You can call in and make your contributions. We want suggestions on how to move our state forward. How to move our country forward. It can no longer be business as usual. They are setting targets in Lagos. All the contracts on that target goes to Tinubu. For what? For what? People sweat. They die. They toil. They reap. They do everything. And they, they divide what they, are, what they are reaping and give part of it to Tinubu. For what? Why? Why? That is the congressional number. You can call in and make your, your, your contributions. We want to hear from everybody. This time, my people, needs to be different. The time cannot be different if all of us don't come together to say enough is enough. If all of us don't come together to say enough is enough, to say we don't want Godfathers anymore in Nigeria. Nigerians have to be Nigerians. Nigerians must take the bull by the horns. Nigerians must rise to the occasion. Nigerians must understand that this is revolutionary. This is revolutionary. This is revolutionary. We are not calling for blood. We are not calling for, for violence. But we are calling for passive resistance. We are seeing from now going forward, we have to start with ourselves. We have to start with the people. We have to start with a new direction. We have to start to defend our fatherland. We have to start to defend Nigeria. It is worth it. Today, here in Biafra, agitation for secession, agitation for self governance. You hear the other one, the other one. Why? Because our collective patrimony has been under, 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 under subjugation. Have been sat on, sat over by, by some few uncircumcised human beings. 
we have to rise my people I have grieved my heart I have grieved my heart I live in the UK I know many friends who live all over the world we do in fact it is not glorious we are living where we are living we are making massive contributions to develop another mass land and yet our land wallow in pain we wallow in sorrow we wallow in tears we have fathers mothers who can hardly who, who can hardly have square meals to eat who live from hand to man we have brothers sisters cousins nephews and nieces who don't even go to school because there's no means because our collective patrimony has been has been sat on by a few people like Tinobu. Lagosians arise, it's time to take the bull by the horns. It's no longer business as usual. It is time, it is time, it is time, it is time, it is time. I am aggrieved in my heart. I am seriously aggrieved. We must know what time we are. We must know what we need to do now. There's a new template that, that, that the doorstep has set for all of us. On door must follow that template. We must say no. We must say no. Power truly belongs to the people. And ultimate power belongs unto God. But the people's power has been eroded by the likes of Tinobu. Has been eroded by the likes of Tinobu. And they wake up, they say, Yes, you live, you live, you die, you die. That cannot continue. Let me take this caller. Hello. Hello. Hello, good morning, sir. What's your name and where are you calling from? Good morning, my name is Comrade Paulo Joe from London. I greet you, sir. I actually, I actually rebroadcasted your show when I heard the video of the lady who was crying, and that really touched my heart. Yes, you understand. But for far too long, we have waited. We have waited for when Nigeria will be a country where everybody will be proud to go back to. We have, we have, we have, we have been wallowing in poverty even in the uk that we live in yes. there's a lot of there's a lot of things nigerians don't understand those of us in diaspora we're not happy that we're in diaspora we want to be able to come back home now we need to start saying no to all these godfathers who have who have held on to our destinies for far too long and this is the, the message that has been passed in a two election a two election has made it clear that anything is possible in Nigeria. Exactly. We should not give up. We should not give up. They have set the pace. All we need to do is to is to is to begin to work on it. Legosians need to begin to speak up. The few that are supporting Ahmed Bola Tinubu in Lagos, they are not they are not more than the people who are opposed to his godfatherism in Lagos. It's just the few, and the few are those that are weaving cutlasses during elections in yeah. Lagos, the Agbirus, people like NC Oduomo and Co. These are the people that are giving Jagaban, Jagabandit, <laughs> that are making him relevant in Lagos. All the, all the, uh, all the, all the Yalojas and the Yalajis that are in the market, they are ignorant of his activities. They don't know, it's only during elections, they see this man. Let us begin to speak up. There are there are few allies who are also supporting this man. We need to begin to call them out. And this must stop. Godfatherism must stop in Nigeria. And it has begun with it has begun with the two election. Thank you very much, comrade, and I love your show. Thank you so much, my brother. God bless you so much, man. Twilight for you, bro. Thank you so much. You see, this must be the spirit, my people. This must be the spirit. We cannot, we cannot. We are a people created by God. We, God gave us the power to live, to live and enjoy life. To live. How can we have a nation where more than 70% of the people live on less than a dollar a day? This is happening because certain Godfathers put Nigeria in their pocket. Tinobu is one of them. We cannot, we cannot, we cannot as a people continue to live under such subjugation. We must rise. We must rise. We must rise. The revolution has begun, my people. It has begun. Everybody must wake up. We must speak up. We must talk to our mothers, our grandmothers. Those who believe that these guys are mini gods, they are not. They are not different from us. They are only taking advantage of us. What they are, we make them what they are. How can we not withdraw that power from them and distribute that power to the people? How can we not do that? How can the resources of Lagos not belong to Lagosians? How can the resources of Lagos not tell of it? Go to Tinibu and know. For what? Why must we accept such things? Let me take this caller. Hello? 
Aló. Aló. Hello, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, madam. Good morning. What's your name? What's your name? Where are you calling from? Sir, I'm calling from Manchester, in UK. God bless you. Love the program you are doing. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much, ma'am. We really appreciate it. May God continue you to be to continue doing it. I'm not really good in English, but I'm going to say this. Understand? I really love your program. What we are telling all Nigerian people on the first we should come out. At one session together, you understand? Yeah. Because all what they are doing in Nigeria, everybody is fed up. Yeah. Everybody is fed up. We are tired. Everybody is annoying. Imagine Sunumbu taking a big bus, two big bus of money into his house. And we are Nigeria are looking at him. All the Edo people, I congratulate you, but what is possible in Edo state is not possible in Nigeria state, in yeah. any other country. We are all annoying. We want everybody to be warm. We want everybody to be warm. We all are Nigeria. Absolutely. We want everybody to be warm. Absolutely. Don't know who, don't know who so much madam god bless you man when you look at it what we are talking about is something that every nigerian can identify with apart from those who have kept us under this cage who have kept us you know under this subjugation they are the only ones who don't feel it they work out all the time to ensure that they keep us there they keep us there we cannot control and allow that let me take this caller hello Hello, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello? Can you talk down your, 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 your telephone, yeah, please? Yes, yeah, the comment show. Talk to us. Yeah, good morning, comrade. Good morning, man. Where are you calling from? I am Mrs. Sibinova. Good morning. I'm calling from Italy. God bless you, man. Talk to us, man. Good morning, Mrs. Sibinova from Italy. Yes, man. Go ahead. Talk to us. God bless you, comrade. I've been watching you all this while. You have been a good man and you have said a good God. God continues to bless you. Thank you so much, man. God bless. Firstly, the number one thing I want to talk about is uh, this civil war of a thing. Thank God they do it's not, it's not Lagos and uh, we are not Lagos. We are in heart of the nation. We bless God that we made it. One, we are not after the PDP nor the APC. We are after how a door, how our state is going to work and move on better. Why? And yet, for example, I live here in Italy. That what we face here is not, so, it's not supposed to be. What we experience, the experience we, we, we see here, the things we go through here. Can you imagine a graduate leaving here to her own country to go to another national and be good? You know what he says? How can somebody like Kabaka celebrating millions while we that stop like our way to school and here walking to any thousand for for a living? So we are against this. We want a state to move forward. We want the country Nigeria to move forward. Now that Obasanjo has set this goal, let us support him. Let us move with him and see how a is going to move better. One, two, the Lagosians should stand on their feet. They should come and just like 
what we are doing, like we are doing in the diaspora, we never made this election went on. We keep on calling our family at home. We keep on talking to them on what to do, and they put them and we bless God for that. Now, the Lagos Report stand on their feet and say no to the paralysis, and say no to the administration, and say this is what we want. That's what they should move what we want and go for it. Now, number two, like we hear those, now we bless God that our governor has come in and has come to take, and he has come to work for we, and we are happy about it. We should also be in support of him in any way, and we should also stand for him to do what God has put him there for, to do for us. God bless him, my comrade. I'm so happy to be part of your show. Thank you so much, man. Thank you very much. Thank you so God bless you, man. Thank you so much. Now, you see, Thank you, my comrade. everywhere, everywhere in this world, people have always come out to fight for freedom. People have always waited for that right time to take the bull by the horns, to say no to oppression, to redefine their society. The Western world we see today, time was, there was a time in Europe when they, 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 they call, you know, they, 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 they had a system they call feudalism. Where, let me take this color. Hello? Hello? Hello, good morning. What's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, I want to contribute. Go ahead, sir. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning, madam. Uh, this is Stephanie from London. God bless you, madam. I want to contribute to this show. Go ahead. First ma. of all, I'm a Lagosian. Yes. And I'm a Lagosian, not just a Lagosian, but was in politics in Lagos. Yes. Never liked the idea. Never want to have. I am calling from London. Yes. Never liked the idea. Never once liked it. Every time this Tunubu of the man goes out, and I'm eventually to be there, maybe so he's maybe he came to present something or made a commiseration or commission something. By the time he's leaving, all these guys will come and hey, 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 hey at him, and he will throw money to the head, and everybody will run after him like monkey, monkey running after banana. I get very angry. He throws out these people transport to their last month, um, Ministry of Environment, kick against him this place. I go out with this group of people, and you will see that it's just like what a video I saw about the those states that they said, they, they allocate place for them to sell by the hoodlums. I don't want to, I, I've forgotten his name. And at the end of the day, they will come back in the evening, collect money from these people. And after collecting money, instructed by the environment, then the same environment will send people to these market women to kick off their goods. Yeah. What kind of prison are we? I know they want to keep Nigerians in a situation where they know that, they know that hunger, is the first deterioration of human beings. But these kind of people will have to say, you know what, a do or die, hunger is not going to kill you suddenly. Yes. But God will come and take your life immediately. Yeah. If people ship out there, will come. Police that has no discipline, smoking in that way, my never hit behind the corner, will come with their gun and shoot you any moment in time. Mm -hmm. But hunger will only take a process to, to take your life. If you fight, you might end up not being hungry because they subjected us to hunger so that we keep meat. And as an hungry man is an angry man, you always want to look for the next quick fix. Yeah. Just like somebody in a in a, in a cocaine, you always eager to look for money. Fix it. What what they turn my Jiga into? That when you're telling them the truth, they don't even want to listen. Look at the time Shora was invited into Unilab for a, 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 a presentation. She was, uh, uh, invitation was cancelled and no one was invited. Are we now celebrating hypocrisy? Are we now celebrating something that does not work in a nation that is meant to be the, the giant of Africa? Before Africa can get it right, Nigeria must get it right. If Nigeria gets it right, other nations will sit right. And you think somebody like Tunubu is going to take off there? Impossible. In, 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 he controlled the life of Pashola if I don't know any one of it. He did his own thing when I was in Lagos and I never buy it like it. But when I was in this country and I saw everything, the way everything is orderly, every day I wake up, I'm angry. 
every day I wake up and kill me. And you know, you don't get a wake up call up to somebody come and tap you in the back and say, listen. So she will have tap us in the back during one night, 20 nights and four with a minute. Everywhere you go, they will ask you, where exactly are you from? Even though you have British passport, where are you from? And I thought, what is this? So everybody should begin to understand that if we do not fight for that country, nobody will fight for us. Nobody. I saw the people of that lady and I can attest to what she see. A whole city all in Lagos State, Lagos Island. She you know, sold it to a private company. They now use a whole city or it's just like somebody sell the council borrow for an individual. You know what I mean? Take your borrow, they are come to where they reside, where they do the document documentation of the, the borrow. Sold it to an individual. Or privatize it to an individual and the money goes to pocket. And the local government are now being kept in a kitchen. Enough is enough of this get on shit. We did it to watch your last. People kept quiet, thinking, oh, it's normal. But when we did that for day one, that we just came out and said, hey, people don't want that for day why don't you allow people to make their choice? But because people are hungry, they, 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 they don't know what to do. They feel like somebody in the bottle, cock, but just moving around. Nigeria is like a bottle to some people. Bro, thank you so much for what you thank, do. Thank you, Marabo. Oh, yeah, cool. Thank you so much. If we educate, we must sanitize and stand. Oh, yes. If we educate, become better, become Dubai or Paris. If we will all want to educate. Absolutely. If I leave London now, I want to go and celebrate in Nigeria, I will go and locate in Edo. Yeah. Edo State. So we should all stand up and understand that we have the right to move from Manchester to Birmingham, from Birmingham to London, and know that we can do the same in Nigeria. Exactly. Nigeria exactly. is for every one of us. Exactly. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma thank you, madam. Thank, thank you for your call. Too. Thank you for your call. So, you see, Nigerians are concerned. We are very concerned about the situation of our country. The truth of the matter remains that when you look at the history of Lagos and you look at the political development in Lagos, you know, you look at this era, era that we are right now, and you look at what Tinubu has been doing in Lagos, it is time for us to make that move. And really open this life for this caller. Hello. Hello. Hello, good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. I greet you. Where's your name and where you calling from, sir? Ah, thank you very much. My name is Olumide. I'm calling right from London. Okay. Tell us what you have, sir. Speak, speak out. Yeah, be before I go for that, sir, I would like to congratulate the Edo people. They yeah. have really, really done very well. Thank you, sir. And they have woke up people consciously. Mm. That is what. That's just the very first stage of the program. The second stage now is for the Edo people to now monitor and stay right here throughout the governance of. Uh, uh, God will know, but like, there must be a monitoring uh, 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 kind of uh, program. It's never a case we have won the election and leave him alone. Nigeria is far above PDP, APC. I'm not interested in both uh, parties. What I'm interested in is good governance, which means the only Edo people, the way they came together to won this election, they should all come together as well to monitor the government and make sure they get what they want out of it. Otherwise, we all go our separate way and sleep now and they continue business as usual. That's what we don't want to see again. PDP, APC, government to help with all of them. What we want is good governance. That is what. Secondly, sir, in case of Tinubu, I'm a Lagosian. I was born, brought up in Lagos, and all my life is in Lagos. Anytime I'm not in Lagos, I'm not in Lagos. I must tell you that uh, the earlier speaker made mention of it, that not all Lagos are in support of Tinubu. Tinubu has made himself a uh, lord through what? Through legalism, dictatorship. Just name it. Who is he? If you go by his track record, he has never been a human being. He's an animal in human skin, as Stella used to say. These people are just bloody opportunists. Where is Tinumbu during the days of Abasha? 
they ran away. So when I was there, they stood tall, he fought all through. But see what we are having. And that's the more reason why I'm talking about Edo's situation. When we fought ourselves away from the military, we all went to sleep. Why? We think ahead. Uh, military has gone, the people coming out will do the right thing. They will never do the right thing. Politicians are all the same. The moment you allow them that free space, they will do whatever they care to do. Let us monitor them. Let us stay in the... I think they will monitor them after we hijack ourselves from the military juntas, military power that put us into all this mess. We won't be where we are today. Yeah. But Edo has opened the gate of awareness to everybody. Wherever you are in Nigeria, even in your local government, ask your local government chairman, what are you doing with your vote? Ask your councillor, what are you doing with your vote? Okay, okay bro, I do that point is well made. That point is well made. Arrange and have our own federal group, our monitoring group, that will be seen to all what they are doing. Thank you so much. I would like to take more, much of your space because of all that. But I must congratulate you for me. You Thank you so much. You are doing very good and a fantastic job. Thank you so much. Your Thank you so much, my brother. Thank, Thank you so much. God bless you so much. Thank you, sir. So, uh, the last call I just said, monitoring. In the case of a, those, okay, let me take this call on. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yes, what's your name and where are you calling from? I can hear you. Go ahead, sir. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Can you tell us where you are calling from? Yes, I'm calling from Nigeria, Lagos. Oh, talk to us, sir. Go ahead, sir. Hello. Go ahead. I want. Can I comment on this uh, issue we are on the program? Go ahead, go ahead. We are, we are listening to you. Okay, my name is Ehisoji. Continue. Thank you very much for supporting in that place you are. We appreciate what you are doing for us in the here. Yes. Thank you, sir. Really, we are we are in Ito. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm really calling. I'm 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 monarchy in Nigeria here. Yeah. Tinubu and others they are finishing us here in Lagos. I thank you people. I, I follow all the, the the program you started here since three months ago for this Lagos for this uh, uh, those election. Thank thank you, sir. And. And God give you the power, the knowledge to follow up without bias. The word I'm very happy of you you said just now that you are not into any party, not PDP, not the but the person that will bring really the peace to this our country. I think God will bless you people. I see all the people in television when I was watching the channel, both Loretta and so 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 and so on. I thank you all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank God bless you for your support. We are here now. We are just in the world. Somebody wants pocket. Who is Tinibu? What is this place in Benin City there? Oshomole. What to take Benin City on his own pocket? But the people of Benin State know it cannot be done. And that know that it cannot be done really come up in a way that is known it cannot be done. I thank those people. Thank you. I mean, my transformation. Yeah. So I really feel happy for what you do right today. Really, if we we are not in believe of what ten, what ten era to do for we to be in our pocket and eat food to eat it for four three years, we don't know what is going on. We have to stop that first. Anybody that is coming to you ten era, twenty era to vote for you, you buy your conscience, you buy everything. By the time you be coming up to that, the person you are not doing like that on zero because you already eat the person's money. I think we lost that caller. Hello. 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 Okay. Hello. 
Are you there? Hello? Hello, I can hear you, sir. Can you speak up? Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. God bless you, sir. Bye. Hello. Hello. Hello, speak up. Good morning. Yes, sir. What do you have to tell, sir? Is that Congress show? This is the Congress show. Can you speak up, sir? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, yeah. This is call from, from Belgium. Yeah. My name is Mr. Felix Amore again. <coughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Hello. Hello. Good morning, sir. Yes. Yeah, I'm calling from uh, I'm calling from Manchester. Okay, sir. Talk to us. I've been following your program since uh, this uh, election started. Uh, my name is My name is Audio. Yes. Yes. So everything that happened with the election that has been won in Edo, credit goes to people like you that from in this diaspora. Thank you, sir. So much. So we'll keep doing it. I keep doing the good work. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Thank you so much. So uh, now, when you when you look at it, uh, you listen to all the callers that have been calling. You find out that Nigerians, a cross section of Nigerians, majority of Nigerians want some change. Want some change in the approach to governance. Want some change in the approach to our system. Want some change in in, in in everything that has to do with Nigeria as a nation. We need to be able to stand everywhere in this world that we are in. We need to be able to stand tall, happy. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, proud that we are Nigerians. How many Nigerians out there are really proud that they are Nigerians? 
What is challenging our pride? What is challenging our patriotism? What is challenging the Nigerianness in us? The challenges we have is nothing more than what the experiences we are having from these Godfathers, this wickedness, these people who perpetually subjugate our collective will. Let me take this caller. Hello? Hello? Yes, please. Talk to us. Talk to us. I can hear you. Hello? 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 Hello, I can hear you. Good morning. Yeah, calling from China. What's your name or where are you calling from? calling from China. Talk to us, sir. You are, you are live. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, thank you. See, there is a, there is a question I want to ask uh, that, I will, that will need to be addressed. I don't know if if SLSE, but we know where Hassan Obaseki will put a law that an act will, will never go back to market again to arrest, to harass our mother. If there will be a law so that we just know not All right. So I hope, I hope there will be a law so that they will just sign it, sign it into law, so all these people will never again come out to the market to harass our mothers. No, no problem. I, 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 I am sure I can answer that for you. Thank you. All right, sir. Well, the last caller wants to know if the town, Agbaros, in a do state, will ever go back to the market to extort our mothers and our fathers and our brothers and our sisters, I can assure you that with the structures being laid by the government of those states, it is bad bad forever to people like that, to be honest. As a matter of fact, there's a law already in place against the touts that became lords. You know, they call them CDA. What we used to have in the those states was a case where they sell land for you you pay through your nose to develop the land because some human beings put themselves together as whatever, you know, they extort you till you finish the house. In fact, I had, a, I had a, a very ugly case where I bought a land for a friend of mine, helped him to try to develop the land. When the, land, when the house was built on little level, at the end of the day, we found out that that same land had been sold to another person. There was a law case in court that at the end of the day, my friend had to lose the plot of land, lose, lose the house he built on it, lose all the millions spent to save his life. But today, the governor of the Dutch state, Governor Governor Baseki, he has stopped all that out. Never to come again, never to come again. There's already a law, a law in place against such you know, activities of CDAs. So for a dust there's no problem. By the grace of God, for the one who asks <coughs> that we should monitor the government of a dust state, I want to tell you that apart from us being convinced that Governor Governor Basak is a man of integrity, I will assure you that we are closely monitoring the government of a dust state. We are closely reminding him of his electionary promises and the government will stick to his promises, his campaign, you know, promises and all of that. I want to assure all the dope people that we should have no fear. We should have no fear at all. We got no governor of Baseki and those state is a safe house. We got no governor of Baseki. The agenda will not change. The mega agenda of those state will not change. Let me take this caller, please. Hello. Hello, my great brother. Good morning, so, sir. I, I, called, I called just now. He called, uh, another call just now. 
Well, you are calling with WhatsApp. If you want to talk, just call directly because if another call calls directly, it will close your WhatsApp line. Hello, are you there? Yeah, call me Nante Oriahi. Good morning, sir. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Patrick Kalaka, calling from the United Kingdom. Go ahead, sir. Talk to us. Yeah, I want to thank you for this program. I want to thank all the like, two citizens for standing up for of the election. is a clarion call to all Nigerians that things can be done rightly. The Obasaki victory is a victory for democracy. Yeah. And that is why it's a model which everyone will embrace for political emancipation. Absolutely. It is doable. And what we have always suffered in the past has now come to a limelight that when the people come together, then they can change the narrative yes. without any um, hit. If you look at it, it was not just a, you know, something that we struggled to do, but the governor played a very great role in making sure that this dream becomes a reality. Yes. That is why what I posted today is, you know, good governors attract, you know, public support. When Absolutely. you have a good governor who is giving the people oriented program and stands with the people always, there is no joke with any of his program or agenda because the people will embrace it. I just hope the uh, other governors from other states will draw a few from what Governor Obaseki has done. I am listening to, you know, the concerns of a lot of people. I there is no gainsay about it because this is an open government with a clear vision and everyone should support that vision to make sure that what has started in a group today becomes a phenomenon to flow across other states of our nation. I have big hope in Nigeria because of what happened in Edo State recently. And I believe those people who have given themselves that self acclaimed position in our political space will learn from this and return back to their to their to their constituencies and give attention to the need and the aspirations of the general public. And I also want to encourage the youth. Now they are seeing that when you support a government that addresses your needs and aspirations, then the hope will come alive again. Any empowerment program that the government rolls out, everyone should be part of it. It's not only for white collar job. If there's an opportunity to learn a skill and be empowered by the government, don't look at how small it starts. It is from a little that you can bring up the big thing which will make you in life. So let us all come together and continue to support this opacity project. Thank you so much. Nigeria Thank you so world. much. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. God bless you, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yes, good morning. Hello, good morning, my, my brother. I greet you, sir. So, uh, I, I'm, uh, I'm, I have a word to, to tell my young people. What, what, what's, your name, what's your name and where are you calling from, sir? I'm Brian, calling from me to Okay, sir. Go ahead. Right, right. I'm calling from you. Go ahead, sir. Talk to us. Hello. Talk to us, sir. We can hear you. Okay. Uh, I, I, I saw something about the government. I, I'll do this. Hello. So we have lost that caller. So, my people, um, the concern is a matter of it's a, it's a matter of general concern. Okay, this is why we must take this seriously. The last caller did say that the governor of each particular state, where you know the high-handedness of godfathers, you know, has become very indelible, like Lagos, must take. You know, the bull by the horns must take the first leap and let others follow. What I believe very strongly in that, 
I equally believe in sensitizing the people because the people need to wake up to their responsibility. They need to wake up to the understanding that what is happening to them is not normal. In in a dark state, we knew it wasn't normal. You cannot come to us first four years and say this man is good, the other one is bad, and we follow you. The next four years, you want to say the one who is bad is not the one who is good, and the one who was good is not the one who is bad, and you expect us to follow you. That was the Achilles heel of. Oshomole, he underrated the dope people. And that is the same Achilles heel of Tunubu. Tunubu must know that Lagosians have a right to wake up to their responsibility. We saw a man, Ambode, Ambode, in view of many, was doing well. Ambode, in view of many, was a good man, good government in Lagos. But one day, Tunubu woke up, woke up because he felt that his own personal interest was not being satisfied enough under Ambode. He said the guy is being rejected. And Lagosians troop after him. That is unacceptable. Not in this day and in this era. Not in this time. We must wake up to our responsibility. All sorts cannot happen. You see Lagos. See what happened in Lagos when they were doing the primaries between Ambode and Shawo. The, uh, the vote that they got, you know, in that primary. By the time we got to the general election, the difference between what they got in the primary and the general election was only about three hundred thousand or something like no less than less less than nothing. As a matter of fact, the question was, is it that the primaries in Lagos is more than the general public? At the end of the day, all we could see was the handwriting of Tinobu, with who came out to ensure that he humiliated Ambode. How can we allow that? How can we allow that? Lagos, you are not enjoying. You are not happy people because Tinobu has held you under his grip. Held you under his grip. Held you under his grip. You must lose that grip. Show what I want to address you directly. You must set the pace for Lagosians to free themselves. Because many of us believe that if Lagos gets freed, Nigeria will get free. Let me take this caller. I'm really, really angry. Hello. Hello. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Please right. just pay attention. Please, I want you guys to, to pay attention to about what I'm about to say. I mean, I'm breath from Italy. Go ahead. You've, got, you've got two minutes. I've got too many calls coming in. Just go ahead quickly. Okay. Uh, my, my, my words, what I'm about to say is that I we thank God for the victory won by our great amiable governor of Edo State. But there's still a battle, a battle that you see ahead of him to fight. The, this PDP, PDP and NPC, they are all based on the same feather. I saw a great storm of him trying to still go further, trying to still control him tomorrow about Ilalobo. Do you know what they do call Ilalobo? Go ahead, sir. So, he should be very, brief, brief, you know, be very careful what he passed through, passed through and make for Shumule time, should not repeat itself for PDP people. They get me. Do the guy, the guy, they do the guy have a good, have a good mind. He try not to work for his people, but confederalism, they are all over Nigeria. And believe me, victory is, or is ahead all over this dual state that, that is state in that country. For one state, was, believe me, it's going to have, true death, true death is abolition. All this confederalism. So, Thank you very much, sir. Just rest now. Say, Thank you very much. Thank you very much, bro. I see the point you made. If there's another big fight, you have to fight. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. PDP. Those PDP, they will change like a man of royal. I just saw it. Thank so, you so much. I, I'm sure that the governor... We support of any political party in Nigeria because they are all based on the same federal. Yes. I'm sure... Thank you so much. God bless you. I'm sure that the governor will definitely get this message. As a matter of fact, he's been getting this message. You know, and uh, I am glad that even the PDP, they understand the circumstances, you know, under which the governor came to become, uh, you know, governor under PDP. Uh, and we are confident, in those that we are confident. We are confident because we are not leaving the governor alone. We are confident because we are going to join him to develop a those state. We are confident because we are going to move a mass to enlarge 
you know, they, 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 to, to, to improve on, on, on private enterprise, to attract investment into a those states, provided the government is able to create a conducive environment. We are, not, we are not afraid anymore. The first battle is won. And don't worry. So we are passed through the first stage. Hello, good morning, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, good morning, Mr. Lamte. Good morning, sir. Yes, uh, it's Lord Kingsley here calling from Manchester. God bless you, sir. Talk to us. Thank you. Yeah, um, firstly, I want to congratulate you and the entire team for the work you guys have done for the, at least for the last, say, three, four months. Thank you, sir. For the promotion you guys need to make the diaspora important and of great effect during this election. Um, yes, we know people in Edo State who did their best, but the power, the power for this election actually came from diaspora. Because for, if not for the way your team actually manipulated things, anyway, I wouldn't say manipulate, the way your, your team actually took the election, um, the likes of Timibu, uh, Oshomole, and uh, all these other APC governors that came, they would have been able to do some kind of things to manipulate INEC. But for the stance the United States and Britain actually took, because these guys, they know one way or the other, they'll have to fly out for treatment, they'll have to fly out for some kind of uh, business. And if they are actually refrained from entering these countries, they are done. End of story for them. So it was the, it was the power of this platform that actually brought all these things. And I want to say thank you for that. Thank you, sir. So, um, on the other hand, on the other hand, now the victory is achieved. We should not let go. We should not let go. We should not let go. Like the other caller was saying before that, yes, there are still other God powers, I mean, uh, God fathers on this P uh, PDP platform. Yes, we know them. We know them, like uh, the likes of... Uh, uh, in summer, uh, Benedio and the rest, but thank God he has been very, very quiet in this process. He has been very, very quiet. That man he used his wisdom, unlike what Oshomole was doing. So we will still continue putting the pressure there and make sure everything works in accordance to how things should be. We are all in the UK, we know how things work. Obasiki himself has been abroad. He knows how things work. That is what he's trying to bring to our ground home people. That is what he's trying to bring to our people at home. But the likes of all these sacrifices, all these parasites, will not want him to do things the right way. So we will start. We will start and continue to pluck their feathers. That's what I want to contribute to you. My brother, God bless you. Thank you Thank so you much, much, sir. Thank you so much. May God bless you, sir. Thank you so much. Have a good day, sir. God bless. So, like I say, I I tell the people, to be very honest, the much I know personally about Obaseki, I will assure every Edo person that Edo State is in safe hands. Because right now, we are going to see a governor be governor 100%. We are going to see a governor who is going to select his cabinet by himself, not by the influence of Oshomole, by himself, his very own self. We are going to see a governor who will be in charge, who will nominate ministers to the federal government of Nigeria. A governor, a governor will be in charge. In his first term, he was not fully in charge. We are going to see a governor who will truly be the chief security officer of those states, not a governor who will tell the commissioner of police to arrest the situation and the IG will give a different instruction and it will not be obeyed because people like Oshomole are using the IG to try to create commotion in those state. So let's not be afraid of Edo state. Edo state going forward is in safe hands. I tell you, within a month, the government, the government is going to set up its cabinet and everybody is going to be proud of this governor because Edo state is going to move from strength to strength. So we are not scared. We are not scared. I have always maintained that if we get our elections right, we will get our development right. We are going to the elections right in the Edo State. Believe me, our development in the Edo State will be right. But my concern today is that, because the believers say in the parable that, Oh, my God, I'm going to say, 
If one person is rich in a whole clan or community, the man is still poor. What a rich man in the community does to ensure that everybody is okay, that himself is not poor, is to you know, is to give you know to people, empower people to be like him, so that when he's rich, his light is shining. They don't want to shine. They don't. Everybody is shining. Then we can truly have a healthy nation. Today we have the responsibility to galvanize church in Nigeria, to start with Lagos, to start with Ondo, to start with Anambra, of course, to start with Imo State. Imo people, if you are listening to me, if you are watching this program, I encourage you, take the bull by the horn, take the bull by the horns, take the bull by the horns, it is not time, your governor is a governor that came in through Supreme Court, now that is not a legitimate governor, from fourth to number one. That is not a legitimate governor. I want to tell you people today, even more people, you must equally rise. Nigerians must rise. We are not calling for violence, but we are calling for passive resistance. We are not calling for blood. We are calling for passive resistance. We are not calling for disruptions. We are calling for passive resistance. The people's will must count. The court is not the decider. The ultimate decider must be the people. Defend your vote all the time. Defend the process all the time. Choose the right candidate. Do not look at their monies. Table of the lies they came with billions into a do elections. Right in front of where they were distributing the money. All the government of those state was winning. People collected their money and voted for their candidate of their choice. They collected their rapper, voted for the candidate of their choice. They collected their generators, voted for the candidate of their choice. They collected their car keys, voted for the candidate of their choice. That is the true revolution. The revolution of the mind. The decision that says this time must be different. That decision that we make, that no matter how they come, we will beat them to their game. We will not collect crops from them and suffer the next four years. We want to enjoy the dividends of democracy. That is what we want in the Dutch state. It's what we want in Nigeria. We have it partly in the Dutch state. We want it in Lagos. We want it in Nodo. We want it in Manabra, in Imo, and all over Nigeria. Now somebody talked about Tribune. I want to, I'm not talking about Buhari, I want to tell you that the problem of Nigeria, we look at Buhari, Buhari has to take responsibility, but the people who forced Buhari through our nose, our throat, are the likes of Tinubu, because they are selfish, he put us over there, there so that we have a chance to become president 2023. Nigerians must reject Tinubu for 2023. Tinubu cannot rule Nigeria, he will not do that, he must not rule Nigeria. Everybody must take over that. The campaign against Tunubu has started. We must take it far. Tunubu has to lose his hold on Nigeria. Tunubu's governance, Tunubu leadership, Tunubu governorism has not helped Nigeria. He has not helped Lagos. He will never help us. We must, we must, we must bring down Tunubu. His empire has to crumble. My people, I came out this morning because I felt that it is time for us to begin to make our voices heard. But we have to do with this retrogressive, you know, structures and elements in our society. The likes of Tinubu are at the forefront of all of these kind of things. We don't want anymore. If government is not about the people, if governance cannot be about the people, it should not exist. And that is why I blame uh, Buhari that if his own government cannot guarantee the protection of life or property, he should resign and let somebody more competent to take over the government of Nigeria. Today, Nigerians are dying, dying their droves. We cannot defend our territorial integrity. A part of Nigeria is being, is being ceded to Boko Haram, to homegrown terrorists, and yet as a nation, we cannot fight this. Why is it like that? And yet there's somebody we call the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. We have Armed Forces. We have money to buy equipment. We have everything and human resources. And yet, Boko Haram health men, they keep killing our people. We have the government that cannot protect lots of property. Why would that government be in place? My people, it is good we know our right from our left. Left. The problem majority with our people, the populace is that we do not know the responsibility that our own government owes us. If we do, we can rise against them every day, every time. It is not too late for Nigerians to rise against Buhari, not in violence. Not by bloodshed, but rise to say, Buhari, you are not giving us good governance. We want you out. 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 Out, 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 and never, 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 never again. Nigeria deserves to be happy. Nigeria deserves to be happy. We need to be liberated as a, as a country. I want to stand wherever I am, in the UK, in America, wherever, and stand tall and say, yes, 
I proud to be a Nigeria, a Nigerian, but today I cannot say that because of all that these people are doing, because of all the monies that, that they are stealing, because of the lack of development, because of the sufferings of the average Nigeria. We live abroad, yet we are not happy because we are suffering in this land where we live. Everywhere we live in the world, we are suffering and we are making contributions because our hope is not good enough, because our hope will be held great, held hostage by Godfathers. It is time we rise and say no. Capital no to the likes of Tinobu. We have reduced Oshomole, Oshomaba to Osho Peking. And as a matter of fact, we are going to work very hard to ensure that all the billions that has, that has been lit to Oshomole as money collected from the state coffers to give them of himself, to build his own estate and his own empire, he will cut them out to their total coffers. He will go to jail. That is where we are taking the show to. By the special grace of God, anybody who defraud the state, like Tunubu, Tunubu should rot in jail. He should rot in jail. He is evil to Lagos. He is evil to Nigeria. This must be the case of a lot of this kind of people. Lagos must be for Lagosians. A door must be for a door. Emo people arise. Your governor, your governor, arise, arise, and say no to such wickedness. This will be my last call for tonight, for today. Hello. 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 Hello, Mr. I greet you, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Where are you calling from? Yeah, I'm, call I'm calling from, from Italy. Go, a go ahead, sir. Go ahead, Hello? sir. Hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. For your work that you are doing in this program, yeah. But tell it to me, who, what is going on in Lagos State? We all need to be united to fight Tinubu because location can't fight Tinubu alone. We all Nigeria, we need to unite. Well, Ulaza Kola, um, that's all right. Uh, the message was clear. He said that Nigerians need to unite. Of course, I know Nigerians need to unite. We need to start educating ourselves, and that's what I'm trying to start do from here. We need to start empowering ourselves with knowledge. I say knowledge is power. When you know, you know where to stand. We need to start empowering Lagosians to understand that Tinubu is a disease to Lagosians, is a disease to Nigerians, is a disease. And when you have a disease, you know, in your body, what you do is to look for cure. What Nigerians need now is to cure the likes of Tinobu. What Nigerians need now is to cure for, for that reason. Hello? 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 Good morning, sir. Yeah, morning. How are you? Not too bad, sir. Is that Mr. Diaki? Yes, this is Comrade Diaki. Where are you calling from and what's your name, sir? My name is Omoruyi. I'm calling from Manchester. God bless you, sir. Speak to us. Yeah, where you go, yo? Very well, sir. So, where is sir? Don't sir. Yeah, well, we just uh, we just want to call and uh, say thank you for Lord the presentation during the election of uh, uh, governorship election in Edo State. Thank you, sir. And uh, you've really done well and uh, make us know what is happening, giving up the update from time to time. Thank I you. really thank you for your job well done. Thank you, sir. And that is the more reason. My, my name is Omoru Ye, and I'm the international coordinator of the EPM, Democratic Progressive Movement Worldwide. Oh, very good. Very good. Uh, it is the only organization uh, President Edoki in Nigeria. They oh. came from. Oh. Well, came from Nigeria, not Oki. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Uh, so, so many governors came to another. So, it's a. Uh, we gave, I just look at it as one of the vibrant man of the Absolutely. Uh, you see, Edo, Edo, I have to be frank with you. A lock in the man of Edo, if you have a woman, but I could be Yeah. Uh, yeah. And the Salubal Law, I could be your name. Yes. So we should hold it tight. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Once we do that, here you are my Absolutely. Okay. 
My brother, my you go up because we have something to do. Okay. 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 Uh, what's it? What's it? Who you are, Mesa? Thank you so much. Yeah. Domo, sir. Yeah. Yes, hello. 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 Good morning, man. Good morning. Yes. Thank you, brother, for the great job we are doing. Thank you so much, madam. Nigeria needs to wake up. Absolutely. We have been sleeping. We all need to wake up. Absolutely. The movement has started. Oh, yes. Yeah, because uh, you know, the, they gave up and they said the heartbeat of the nation. Without the heart, the body cannot function. So, the heart has woken up. The whole Nigeria needs to wake up, too. You are right, madam. Nigerians, I beg all of you to wake up to this call. We should say no to all these bad leaders yeah. that have been leading. We should stand our ground. This is our time. It says, in the, the Bible said, it said the, the children of uh, Ishaka know the time and see it. The children should wake up. This is the time. This first time has come. And this is the city. We have to take it by the book. Oh, yes. We all have to wake up and say no. And when we speak in one voice, we will defeat these people. They are too small for us to defeat them. We don't have unity. Everybody wants to be leader. That is our problem. When we have unity, we are going to defeat them. And there will be nobody before us. The, the, the voice of the people are the voice of the Lord. Yeah. And we are speaking. We will, we are to speak with one voice. That is the real truth. Bless you, brother. I appreciate thank what you, you are doing. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Keep on doing it. Thank you so much. May God bless, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hello. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Well, uh, the last two callers actually, you know, they stressed on unity. Unity is the, is the hallmark of this whole thing. You know, uh, by the grace of God, what we are preaching here, what we are talking about here, is trying to galvanize Nigerians to be united. Okay? Unity must be the bedrock of whatever we are going to do. And when we are able to build unity, when we are able to build a consensus around unity as a people, there is no way that we cannot forge ahead in all of these things. As Nigerians, what we want to see from the Congress show is to sensitize Nigerians and to let Nigerians understand that there is the need for us to come together around a common cause. It's a common problem called for common concern. We have a common problem, and the common problem we have, one of them is the issue of Godfatherism. Godfatherism has led to you know, extreme poverty in our land. Godfatherism has led to tremendous problems in our land. Let me take this caller. Hello, sir. Hello. 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 Hello, good morning. Can you please turn down your radio or television or whatever? Okay. What's your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, my name is Yogi Ibe. I'm calling from uh, Manchester. Yes, sir. Talk to us. Hello? Talk to us. We can hear you. Okay, yeah, I just want to, I just want to applaud your what you are doing, and uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually interested in, in it as well. And if there's any way you need my, my support in one way or the other, I'll be, I'll be very, very much available. So I just want to commend you and say thank you, and also want to be kept posted every now and then as regards the sanitization of our people. But we all need a better Nigeria for everybody. Thank you. Thank you, sir. God bless. I appreciate you, sir. I appreciate yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yes, I'll take note of your number. Sorry? Okay, like I was saying, please, I want to appeal to Nigerians. Please, um, we are going to be de dealing with lots of national issues going forward. There's no doubt about it. If you are there and you are not yet a follower of the Comrade Show, please, there's a button right there in front of you. Just, just click, click follow, so that whenever we are on, we are on, you will easily just get a message. 
because we we're going to try to have a very interactive program. You know, for me, I must use the vision is to use this program to begin to galvanize for Nigeria's unity, to come together around you know common causes, you know, to to find answers around you know common issues that affect us in a way that we can progressively advance you know in a positive direction. You know, because we've lived too long in this unity. You know, like. We need to we need to empower ourselves with the knowledge of the time, with what is happening in the time, and what we are required to do. Undo election is coming. We are keeping very close eye on undo election. We are not making statements right now about undo election because we want to look at where the people are leaning. By the time we are able to ascertain exactly where the people are leaning and try to understand, you know, the background of the entire political process in undo state. Believe me, we are going to come here and talk about Ondo election. Because at the end of the day, you know, when the eye cries, the nose is equally crying, the mouth is crying, every part of the body is crying. It is not just one part, okay? Everything that is happening to any part of Nigeria is happening to every part of Nigeria. So it therefore means that we need a consensus. We need to build a consensus around the issues of Nigeria to find answers to our problems. As a people, we have a right to move, to move, to move out of the co Yes, hello, good morning, sir. Yeah, I, I called earlier on now. Good morning, sir. Talk, talk to us, sir. Yeah, I called previously. I thought uh, you were asking about my number. You were asking about my number. Okay. I just told you I have taken note of it, sir. Sorry? I just told you I have taken take note of your number. Okay, all right. Uh, please, yeah, I, I, I would like to be kept in touch. Thank you so much. Thank you. No worries, sir. Thank you so much, sir. All right, thank you for what you are doing. All right, God bless you. So, so this is the issue. There are so many issues. When the first lady of a do state, you know, on this platform, you know, was asked the question, "What is your pet project?" The first lady Betsy Obasanjo said she hates that word. She doesn't want to hear it. That it is only when everything is satisfactory you cannot have a pet because every other thing is okay. And that there are so many things about the do state. How can she have a pet project? That every project is, is the same. That as they come, she wants to deal with them. She cannot now have a pet and say, this is a pet project. He says, it's only when everything is alright. And you see the concept of pet project, the concept of first ladyship, and all of that is one of those concepts that they have used to defraud consistently Nigeria. Today, the, the wife of the governor of the Dutch state does not address herself as first lady. She is a woman who has kept her job full time, even though she is the wife of the governor of a Dutch state. She is still working full time. This is what we are talking about. Even though you are in politics, people should be able to have the job they are doing. What is the job of Tinubu? What is the job of uh, all, all of these governors? What is the exact job of, uh, of uh, 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 what's it, uh, what is the business address of Oshomole? But yet, look at him. Oshoma is one of the richest men in, 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 in Nigeria. From our collective patrimony. But he will go to jail. The time is now. The time is now. Oshoma will go to jail for all the many sins he committed against those state. The same way Lagosians will begin to look at Tinobu, we must not come together to forge a common front, to forge a common alliance, because one good turn always deserves another. We must not come together to say yes, yes, it was done in a do state. We must start booting out all of these people. These people that have subjugated, subjugated us for, for this long. A door easily would have been rigged. Easily. But the people were resolved to say, we will police our elections ourselves. That is one way Ondo must go. Police your election yourselves. I told Ondo people in my broadcast persistently, nobody should be trusted. Not the police, not ANEC, not even agents of any political party. Police your, your elections by yourselves. It is that policing, that close marking that made the election free and fair. Today, there are so many reports coming out everywhere to say a dual election is probably the best election ever had in Nigeria. That is kudos to a dual people. Kudos to the, to, to, to the resolve to say we want to get it right. Although I speak to you, you must get it right. There, there's no alternative to getting it right. Imo, you must get it right. Anambra, that's another off-season election. You must get it right. Lagos, Lagos, Lagos. The time to get in the drive will start now. We must start now. We must start now. The unity of purpose must start now. Thank you very much. I do people and fellow Nigerians across the world. Thank you for staying with me. I didn't intend to 
to come out, you know, and be this volatile, but the affairs of my fatherland is such that hurt me when I look at the status quo, when I know fully well that as a people, we could have been better than this. We have had the resources, the manpower, the intellectualism to be better than this, to be the best country in the world. We have had it. But what has happened to us? The only thing that has happened to us is that we have, not, we have had a new form of colonialism, neo-colonialism, where some of our own kind begin to learn it over us, where some of our own kind begin to imprison us in the prison web of poverty, so that when they spread their 1,000, 2,000, we run after them and we begin to call them gods. That has to stop now. Let us be hungry for today. Let us be hungry for today so that we can be satisfied for, for tomorrow. That is what we must do. We must be united. We can no longer be a collection of uh, Satan Nigerians. We can no longer be a, select, a collection of Igbo Nigerians or Yoruba Nigerians or Aousa Nigerians. We must and always will remain the Nigerian people, the, the citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Let that oneness come into us. Let us begin to ensure Shoe. Let us begin to erase the ethnic divide, the tribal divide that has, co that has, that, that has condensed us to this level where development has become a matter of difficulty. We must rise above ethnic lines. We must rise above tribal lines. We must rise above this unity. And we must hold, hold, the, hold the fort. We must stand strong. Hold the line firm and strong and decide the direction we want to go. 2023 is coming. They are lobbying. They are making do all they want to do to undermine the process in all the offices and elections taking place at different levels in different places. But we must stand firm. We must stand firm. We must stand firm that when the time comes, the right man for 2023 will emerge. Not in this pack that we see. Not in uh, 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 Turubu. Not in Erufai. Not in this kind of people because these people are not good people to Nigeria. Fellow Nigerians, I thank you. May God bless you all. May God bless my dear Edo states. May God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I am Comrade Lante Orehi. This is the Comrade Show. I'm signing off now. And I want to leave you with the Edo National Anthem. Thank you. God bless you all. The ancient city is calling. Oh, arise, sons and daughters of the land. The king of the city is marching, stand up high to the cry of the land. The founding fathers have labored, and our time to serve is now. The glory of the new Lego nation will forever be our pride. Children to teach their children what our father 
Shall we?